Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I am Romic, the leader of the Snap Man. Today, Mr. Negative. Yeah, you know it's a negative video because Mr. Negative is showing up. And yeah, I'm gonna be very negative in the video today. So guys, make sure to, of course, stick to the bit because we always do that when we're recording Mr. Negative. But yeah, this deck gave me a total of 41 cubes in just one day. Yeah, this thing has been killing Arishim players all around. It just murders everyone. Absolutely insane deck. It disintegrates Arishim players because we just run, you know, Darkhawk, Steak. That's it. That's all you really need. Like, they have a shitload of tech, but you mostly don't have priority. But some lists run Dr. Octopus. So, you know, it's a real 2020. Sometimes you don't get to play the game. Sometimes you do get to play the game. And it all just end up, ends up being like a... Yeah, sometimes the game is fun. Most of the times it isn't. But now let's go to the deck and let's talk about why we run what we run. We run Ravonna Rensler because she reduced the cost of Mr. Negative, Sage, Mystique, Iron Man, Null, Arnim Zola. Yeah, these are the cards you really want to reduce the cost of because these are just like the best cards in your deck. And if you get a negative down on turn three, that's always a snap. Misty copies the effects of your Iron Man, your Dark Hawk, your Null, and that's basically all you want to copy. You mostly never want to copy Wong. We don't have a lot of good on reveals aside from Sage. You sometimes can try to go for like a Wong Black Panther Mystique play, but that's kind of bad. Mr. Negative and the Negative deck is self-explanatory. Sage can and shall be sometimes, you know, our good friend Ironheart, the Sage replacement, as always, especially Negative List. She also has a lot more synergy with Wong Mystique, but Sage is a broken card, so she's always just better. Shang-Chi is just our tech slot of choice because to buff. You have to buff up Null somehow. Relying on Null just being a 0-6 is not good enough most of the time, and sure he can go to a 0-12, but at that point just kill a Black Panther. But yeah, like you need to run Shang-Chi, there's a lot of big Arishim stuff, there's a lot of Dark Hawks flying around everywhere from Arishim players who just try to pop them easily. Iron Man doubles the power in your lane, you know how good he is, especially with Mystique, and especially when he's a 0 cost 5 attack guy, Dark Hawk is the Arishim Slayer. Whenever you get Dark Hawk and Mystique against Arishim, it's usually a W instantly. Black Panther synergizes with Wong, does the Black Panther Wong R. Arnim Zola combo. Jane Foster draws your entire deck sometimes. That's also is just like, this is the best part of the deck. Just getting to simulate Yu-Gi-Oh! Getting yourself like a pot of desires. It's just so good. Of course, Arnim Zola is ridiculously good. And of course, Null, he get he explodes stuff. He's pretty good. Null is our boy. He really clutched it up today. So we gotta give our odes to the boy. We usually rag on Null because he's such, you know, you play a guy on turn six and you just, just get destroyed in another lane. But here, Null was pretty good today. But boys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure, of course, get a like, comment, subscribe. Make sure, to, of course, follow for more Snap Mania content. I was Romic, the leader of the Snap Mania, and let's get snapping. Yeah, guys, hi. I'm Romic, the leader of the Snap Mania, and I'm quitting Marvel Snap. There you go. There, there's how I'll start the video, because I know none of you will listen to it. And maybe some people just quit during the intro, but yeah, we're quitting the game. We're done. Like, this is gonna be the last week of Marvel Snap, so enjoy it while we can. Because uh, the meta game has shifted again to Loki deck. Loki deck. I don't wanna. I don't wanna play more Loki, bro. I'm done. It's it's here for a year. I'm done with it. Fuck them. Like, fuck it. The developers don't give a shit. Pfft. Go get them, then. Go get the money, bro. Nice. Awesome. Like, you guys sure love uh, fucking the consumer all the time. Like, ugh. You want it? You got it. There you go. Go play your Loki meta game. I'm gonna play an actual good card game like Marvel Snap. Uh, like, what's it called? Master Duel or Magic the Gathering or Hearthstone. You know, games where we get content and it's not just Loki for five years. Awesome. Great. More Loki. Now we get the snap, actually. We get Mr. Negative off while our opponent is playing Cerebro in goddamn. What's his name? Arishim. Like, sure, he can play Mobius and just kill me outright. I can't do anything against it, but I'm guessing he won't. Uh, Galactus is pretty scary, but hey, we're just gonna play mid. Like, let's just hope. Like, yeah, I'm... But someone's gonna say, Romic, you sound pretty tilted. Uh, sound? I am! Like, it's horrible. Really bad. Like, it's really bad, bro. It's really... I'm gonna play around the Galactus. Fuck it, I'm not gonna die for Galactus today. Nuh-uh. You got it, bro. You got it. I go Jane Foster mid. I draw a null off the top. And if I don't get Darkhawk, I'm dead. But like, pfft. hey, we just will get Darkhawk, naturally. Nat draw it. Spectrum. We'll just nat draw the hawk. Fucking told you I will. You all doubted me, boys. You all doubted the boy. Like, you thought I would... 
fuck you over. Never. Not me. I am the one who knocks here, because I'm gonna fucking knock my opponent's teeth out. There is... If you stay here, you deserve to get slammed by the might of Zeus. Like, please, Snap. Oh my god, let's do, let's go. Like, that's how I'm feeling about Snap. And this is what the current metagame is just piling onto. Play Dark Hawk or die. You gotta play it. You're forced to. Because if you don't, you lose every single game. Like, imagine being a new player. You're trying to you're trying to have fun in Marvel Snap, you finish Series 2. Oh, look, you didn't get Dark Hawk. You lose. You just can't win. But how do you beat Arishim? Oh, you don't. Uh, that, that's what it was designed for. You, oh, yeah, and the deck is how expensive? Uh, let's just see. Let's just see. I'll just look up a normal one. Like, let's be coy here. Let me just find a good one. One Series 5 card, one Series 4 card, one Series 5, Series 5, Series 5, Series 5, Series 3, Series 5, Series 2, Series 5. Yeah, like, it's only a gazillion dollars. Come on, guys. Come on. Just go get it. Come on, buy it, bro. It's so easy. We're playing against a normal person, can't believe it. And I just gave him a copy of Arnim Zola slash Null. And this is probably just like a Darkhawk list or- Oh, it's just- It's just Clog. <laughs> just Clog, it's- Either clog or I don't get, or I have to play Dark Hawk or I have to play some stuff like that and like it's just <laughs> what what fun decks are there left? None of them? They're all like this? Like it was fun for like a day with Arishim and now everyone's just like okay we found the best list, let's just run it to the ground. Ugh. Someone's gonna say wrong, did you actually just make a video to rant? Yes! I did! It feels cathartic! <laughs> It feels kind of cathartic to talk about how fucking garbage the meta games in this game always all end up being. Like it's kind of you know it's kind of relaxing. I'm like, how many cards? You actually feeling happiness? Yeah, bro. Kind of happy right now. Have some joy in here. Titania White Widow. You don't get to play Medromic. Fuck you! Like, look at this! This is the other playable decks! Like, what is happening? Who made this game so bad? Like, actually, completely un un unforgivable. Like, these are the only playable decks. Just go play Clog, bro! Uh, you wanna play High Evo? Arashim? Ah, too bad! You get instantly killed if you get a run up against any other Arashim deck. Sorry, bro. Wanna play tech cards against the up up up? You get Loki now! Haha, <laughs> you don't get to play! You wanna play this? You don't get to play! And it just ends up being like, when do I get to play? Is there a moment when we get to play the game? Because it doesn't feel like it, bro. It just feels like I'm always ha oh, I'm always just like stuck in between, okay, I never get to play and we're kinda playing the game. And that, in my idea, sucks. Like, that design sucks. Oh man, it feels so cathartic to say this shit out loud. Woo! Man. Romic, you, you've done it again. You've made the, your entire audience turn around in one video and be like, There's no way he's gonna... You want rant video too. And we are playing Mr. Negative, that's why. I'm glad some people always understand the bit when it's negative. Like, I don't care. I'm give it. Like, this game is shit. Like, I'm gonna quit the game and I'm just gonna not look back. I love my fans, but you know what I like more? My sanity. Let's snap on this, by the way. Tarnax 4, Mr. Negative. I'm just gonna say one thing. <laughs> That's really good. Unless we get a uh, specific bad forecast. I don't know which one, but there's a lot of them. Uh, I would like... I don't know. What forecast? Is there any single one that draws me a card? Not really. I think you always leave here, bro. Come on, we're going on two into a snap on three. You know what it is. He's thing, I guess. Your funeral, probably. Tang. Ooh. If it that's tribunal, I am dead, probably. Gotta play Wong. This Crimson Cosmos is really damaging. Yep, it is. Oh my god. I actually faced my worst matchup here. Oh my god. I actually am just like... I'm cooked. I die to... Onslaught Mystique. If he has it. Of course. But like... I'm not gonna reveal it yet. 
Because he's still probably thinking, does he run mid like S Super Scroll? A lot of negative versions do. So I'm just gonna leave it up to him to figure it out. Sarah, all right. I think that actually ends the possibility of it being an infinite loop. Yeah, I think that ends the problem. Yeah, I think that's it. I think we're good. I think we're somehow good. How are we alive? I have no idea, but... That's the tribunal. It has to be exact. Holy shit, okay. Please 50-50, never. 50-50s, okay. never. So, boys. We stand at a crossroads here. The entire game hinges on is the last are the last cards in his deck. It's completely down to just... What did he roll off of negative? Okay, he did not. I was like, this is the worst matchup. Like, we actually have a game here. Like, negative had to have hit Mystique, Iron Man, in that order, and finish it off with Onslaught. It had to go like that, or we always win. I just had to play around it. You know something? I was not gonna play the Iron Man Mystique. At the end, I was like, nah, I'm not playing shit. Like, he can't win. I, like, he can get a super scroll and then I die, but otherwise I win. Like, don't- let's just not play into it. Forget it. But yeah, let's keep talking about the price tags of the, the things. Series 5, Series 5, Series 5, Series 5, Series 4, Series 3, Series 5, Series 5, Series 3, Series 3, Series 5, Series 3. Okay, awesome. Good to know that every single deck is a gazillion dollars, or you don't get the play today. Which I think is very, you know, uh, counterintuitive second dinner. Like, you wanted Arishim to be a fun card and he tur uh, turned into... Okay, we're just, uh, the best deck in the game, probably. Oh, Cosmo! Good to know. He already shown us the Cosmo, so... My Darkhawk is perfectly safe. Now I just need to watch out for my Mystique and I'm good. Okay, Arnim Zola. Okay, like, our hand isn't that bad. Dog, you run White Widow in Arishim! How much more could you raise the price tag until you're satisfied? You know what? No! It's gonna be rogue, I just know! You- like- Oh my god, dude! Every fucking game! Like, it's just like, please don't! Why? Like, come on! Like, dog! Are you fucking with me? I am. I am. Like, you can't be serious with this shit. Yay, more 50-50s, more random pulls, let's see! Can't wait! Can't wait! It's all- it's literally down to a coin flip of where those kids going left or right. And him having Rogue. I guess, like... Pfft. The fuck you want me to do, dog? Like, I wish I had Mystique. I don't. Maybe I should bluff that I do. Nico Minoru with the questioning effect. Oh my god, he... What's the final card? I got a copy of Spider Hand. Quinjet. Literally one card left in hand. I should be winning. Two cards left in hand. Has to be Rogue or something. Okay, we did it, we won. Like, oh my god, he is so bad, and, and we still almost lost because Sakar into Shang, bro, just die, come on. Thanks, game. Really awesome when we just have to keep rolling numbers like it's a goddamn slot machine. Like, not every game has to be a slot machine, it just it has to be a little... Like, you can add a little bit of inconsistency, but when everything is just... Riddled with inconsistencies, you're just like, what the hell am I even doing? Like, I got to Master Duel rank, like, I got to the Master rank in Master Duel just playing a normal tier deck. 
Like it's not even a t it's not even top tier. I'm just playing tier lament. Like it's fine. Like I played tier lament. I played a little bit of super quants. I played ninjas. I played so much stuff, and it was like everything kind of worked. They're very difficult decks to play, but they're like really fun. Well, in snap, you're just like, yeah, man. Give me give me some dice. Why? Because I'm gonna vote. Awesome. Oh look, I win. Oh man, I lose. It's literally the let's go gambling. Ah, oh, dang it. Ah, oh, dang it. Like, come on. If he snaps, we're leaving. Our hands is awful. Another tech deck. This is literally just like Darkhawk Turbo or Cerebro Free. I've seen a lot of Darkhawk Turbo. Cloning bots is interesting, but not good because we didn't draw anything. Like, I can replicate a Sage a thousand times, but a Sage replicating it herself a thousand times is not even that good. Yep, it's Dark Hawk Turbo. I love how I knew it. Just saw Invisible Woman. Dark Hawk Turbo. There it is. Like, there it is. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I can leave. Let's, uh, I can stay for more uh, for more of a uh, booster farming, but let's do it for the viewer experience. Let's just go. Let's leave. Let's get out, boys. Let's do our best, and let's try to draw a negative next game, you know? That's how we do it. One more to take us home. One more. Let's see what we can do. Like, this negative deck is incredibly good. Like, the win rates that I have on it are... We're currently plus 37. Like, we're plus 37 on negative. That's really good. But, man. Like, man, it is... The game isn't fun. That's, like, climbing is not what I give a fuck about. Like, I don't care if I'm climbing or not. I care about having fun. And when we're not having fun... That sucks, but you get it? Like, I don't care what about my rank. This is the Clog Trooper. Yeah, this guy just plays Clog. So fun. Enjoyer's Hater plays Clog. Like, you're, you're him. You're the bad guy. You're also the bad guy, you piece of shit. People. No, no, but they're the problem, dude. Like, you're literally Satan. <laughs> you're Satan, bro. Yay, hi, Green Goblin or Debris or whatever you're gonna play, because no one gets to play today, because no. Oh, look! Now I can't even play! Awesome! Great! Romic, you shouldn't play Sage now. Yeah, and then what I do? What, I, I keep bricking? Because he'll just dock lock me anyway, kill me into the sun. Hey, Green Goblin, how you doing, buddy? Like, that's what I'm saying, it doesn't matter. I can't ever get any board presence because if i play anything i just get clogged into the sun because his deck doesn't care he's just dr octopus into whatever like just bring out 700 tech cards it doesn't matter like i'm not playing he's not playing the game like this isn't marvel snap he's just playing the did do you play a counter to my deck it's literally old galactus like this is just literally old galactus it's simply the same deck but you, like, you're pretending it's something different. Like, yeah, like, what do you do? I know what that is. That's a Doc Ock snap. There is no reason to stay. Because we're not playing the game. Like, this is literally just... You're not playing the game. You're just playing a deck that does not do anything. It has no... It's a non-interaction deck. You're just like, okay, let's go win somehow. And you know what? I'll even play one more game. Because, like, that was... That's a non-game. We didn't play like, we got negative. Too bad I didn't get to play Marvel Snap. I had to just look at my opponent slapping his stupid interaction, like, stupid interactions all over the board, which caused you to not be able to play the game. Awesome design. Awesome design, second dinner. Good to know that's still in the game. Yet you killed Kingpin 700 times. Oh yeah, delete him. He has, he doesn't really have a place in the game. A card that destroys unrevealed cards. Brother, he only had one viable deck. He only had one deck where he was actually good in, where he had something to do. And what do you do with the deck? Now let's rework him to make him a worse Craven. Awesome job. What about Adam Warlock? What about Adam Warlock? Y'all don't do shit. You just let him die on the blist and you were just laughed at it. <laughs> hey guys, but at least he's a 5-5. Five five. Thanks, second winner. I really got to play a lot that day. Oof. Awesome. Anyway, we're snapping here. We get, we get Jane Foster, we just get to kill him. We draw two cards, hopefully one of them is 
Darkhawk, because Darkhawk just instantly wins the game. Kamara Taj does something. Ah, another Darkhawk candy. Let's see. At least I will I will get to spread my copy of Sage. I'm not bricked. Oh, it goes again. R riveting. <laughs> riveting! Awesome. Ridic very interesting. I'm turning it to Scooby-Doo. So, uh, my apologies, ladies and gentlemen. What's happening? I'm like, Ruh-Roh, Raggy! Like, Ruh-Roh, Raggy, we're gonna try to do something, something here. Even if he snaps, I'm sticking to it. Leech is bad, but I'll live with it. I can't play anything unless you Gila. If I play anything, I'll just... Plus my entire hand is free. It's a little just point for Did you draw in your 24 card deck? Did you draw all the answers? Blob. Now the game might not even matter. I think actually the smartest play is actually just putting down the Iron Man mid. He can use Mystique to copy it. He can use Rogue. It doesn't matter. It's literally just down to it. It's a coin flip. I am. It's a little coin flip. Ravona Renslayer has to flip up. And now we just look at our opponent dead in the eyes while he shang cheats us into oblivion because Sage is mid. There he is. If I played Null, we died anyway. Okay, we won. Awesome, our opponent didn't draw literally everything, but he did draw a lot of tech. But there we go, we did win the game. Last game, 4 cube win. Our opponent, of course, Loki, White Widow, Legion, you have more series 5 cards, awesome. Okay, let's just go back to Deck Edit Boys. So yeah, we're back in Deck Edit Boys, and the deck, of course, is good because... Yeah, if you don't have these two, I'm just like, bye-bye, have fun next month, because yeah, the entire deck just revolves around, you have to play Dark Hog, you have to play Mystique, and then you just have to pop off. Against normal decks, it does have a lot of room, Clog murders you into the sun, like it murders almost any single deck that is specifically designed to counter Arashim, so we have a great triangle meta, where Arashim destroys the Clog decks, you destroy Arashim, but the Clog decks destroy you. And that is, uh, you know, awesome game design. It's just like rock, paper, scissors. Just show up at the beginning of the game, show them your rock, they show you paper, and you're just like, all right, man, you got it. But for everyone else who enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a like, comment, subscribe, follow for more Snap Mania. I was wrong with the leader of the Snap Mania, of course. Love you all. Take care of yourself.